और जनाब तुम्हारा तो प्रमोशन हो गया है क्या चल रहा है मेरा तो चार जीपीडी और ए आई टूल चल रहा है ये यूज करके तुम्हारा प्रमोशन हो गया है हाँ मुझे भी सिखा सकते हो आप सलूटी आई कैन By now, you have probably already started using ChatGPT by this point. It isn't rocket science. Anybody can ask a question and it will respond with an answer. We were taught in school that there are no wrong questions, but there are in the realm of ChatGPT. It won't tell you that, but it will instead provide you with poor responses, and you will end up wasting a lot of time back and forth. I know exactly how you feel because I have also been there. So. I spent some time looking for the perfect tips to make the most of ChatGPT. The tip that I have today for you is to utilize custom instructions which you can get by clicking on your profile. This feature allows you to provide specific guidance or context to ChatGPT to help it generate responses that are tailored to your needs. You can therefore give a remark to ChatGPT explaining who you are, what you want and how you want ChatGPT to reply. You won't have to repeat your preferences in every conversation if you do it this way. So, the first question is what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? It helps if you can provide some context about yourself so that ChatGPT can understand you and give you responses keeping your personality in mind. Are you a scientist, a writer, a student or an enthusiast in a specific field? This helps the AI provide more relevant and accurate responses. This way, you can get responses that are more relevant to your line of work. If you want responses that are relevant to your region, tell it where you live, not the exact address, but just the area where you are. So, for example, you could say, "I am a software developer based in London, working with Python," or you could say, "I am a marketing professional in New York, writing advertising copy." For the start of it, moreover. You can add your hobbies and interests like if you like to play guitar and are more into creating music so you can add this also for more personalized response according to your likings. Next, indicating your knowledge level on a topic can help ChatGPT avoid overly technical explanations or overly simplified answers. Are you a beginner, intermediate or an expert? This helps ChatGPT gauge how detailed or simplified its explanations should be. Sharing your personal preferences, values or ethical considerations can help ChatGPT generate responses that align with your values. You can also add the goal you want to achieve. Let me explain this with an example. You have started a fashion brand and you want ChatGPT to give you responses keeping this in mind. So, you can write, I'm in the process of starting my own sustainable fashion brand. Over the next few months, I would like to discuss various aspects including eco-friendly materials. ethical manufacturing marketing strategies and building a brand identify that reflects our values let's have ongoing discussions to help me develop and execute a sustainable business plan by sharing a long term goal like this you set the stage for a series of discussions with chat gpt that can provide valuable insights and guidance on the various steps and challenges involved in achieving your sustainable fashion brand vision this allows for a more focused and ongoing conversation over time now Let's come to the next question and that is how would you like ChatGPT to respond Before we move forward if you want to join our AI workshop at reasonable amount click on the link given in the description Coming back to the next question that is how would you like ChatGPT to respond We get some thought starters like how formal or casual should ChatGPT be For example you could put in language and tone should be friendly and casual You can decide if ChatGPT can have opinions on topic or remain neutral or if responses should be long or short and this can really make a difference because you can get rid of a lot of frustrating back and forth so for example let's say you are good in excel and use chat gpt to help you out when you get stuck but you don't like seeing all those explanations about the solutions so what you could write is when i ask for excel formulas just provide the most efficient formula without any explanation If you were a programmer and you didn't want to see all those programming explanations you could just type in when i ask you for a code just give me the most efficient code with code snippets without additional explanation right so that's really helpful let me show you with some practical implementation in this case i am picky about excel formulas i'm going to leave this in and click on save now let's go and start a new chat and i'm going to ask it for a formula 
just to make sure this works. Let's say I'm in Excel and I'm struggling with updating this formula. Currently, it's returning everything that's greater than 12,000, but I want to change this to be 12,000 and 15,000. And I have no idea how to tell it to do it between these values. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and type in my formula. Tell it to update this Excel formula so it returns values in the B column that are between these two. And when I send this, it just provides the solution without any explanation. Now without that custom setting, this is what I would get. And sometimes you would just end up with a lot longer explanations like this one. These are great if you don't know your way around, but if you do, they can be pretty annoying. Another thing that could be quite helpful is to tell ChatGPT to always inform us about the confidence level of its answer. This could be quite helpful for factual topics. We can also expand on this and say, when your answer includes facts, always provide a valid URL with the source for your answer. And if you speculate or predict something, inform me. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm going to save this and go ahead and start a new chat and let's ask it who are the FIFA World Cup winners of the 90s. When I run this, I get 1990, West Germany, Brazil, France. Confidence level is high and I get a list of valid URLs directly from FIFA.com. Right, so these settings can be really helpful. I'm sure you are going to find them handy. Here are some tips for sharing this information effectively. Be clear and concise. Provide relevant details without overwhelming the AI with unnecessary information. Clear and concise instructions can lead to more focused responses. As mentioned earlier, use custom instructions to specify your requirements for each interactions. For instance, I'm a novice in astronomy. Explain the concept of black holes in simple terms. Adjust as needed. Modify the information you share based on the context of the conversation. For technical discussions, you might emphasize your expertise, while in casual conversations, your preference and goal might take center stage. Experiment and refine. Don't hesitate to experiment with different instructions and adjust your approach based on the AI's response. If you are not getting the desired results, try providing more or less context until you find the right balance. Remember that ChatGPT's responses are generated based on the information you provide and the specific prompts you use by providing clear, relevant information and customizing your instructions, you can enhance your interactions with the AI and get more valuable responses tailored to your needs. Just give it a try. So these are some tips to get the most out of ChatGPT. It really comes down to the old principle, garbage in, garbage out. Keep this in mind and you'll definitely make better use of these new tools. I hope you found this helpful. Do like, comment, share the video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. And I'm going to catch you in the next video.